Okay, I want to tell you, uh, we've got an interesting mission possible today. 50% of uh, the immigrants in the United States are women. That makes sense. Foreign-born women happen to be some of the lowest paid employees in the United States. So enter Hot Bread Kitchen. It is a social purpose bakery. Not only provides jobs, provides job training for people who need it. Take a look at what they do. Bread is like a universal symbol of, of home, family, and life. In North America, we think of the baker and we think of a man. But across the world, women are baking. Hopper Kitchen is aiming to help women get jobs that are management tracked, living wage jobs. We bake multi-ethnic breads from the countries that women come from, and we train women in commercial and industrial baking and entrepreneurship. We have three full-time employees and eight women who bake with us right now. When we're up to scale, um, we're going to be able to train 80 women per year uh, based on the breads that we're selling. Eventually, it'll be a six-month training program. Jessamine Waldman is the founder and executive director of Hot Bread Kitchen. She joins me now, and she brought food. So however long we were going to use this use to, to take this segment, we're going to take twice as long. Great okay. to see you. So good to see you. Um, all right. Let's just understand this. You uh, you want to provide a living wage. You want to provide management track uh, uh, um, jobs. And you actually trained to become a master baker to do this. I did, yeah. What, what motivated you to do this? You know, the idea and the passion from Hot Bread Kitchen is something I'd had for 10 years before I launched. My background is in immigration policy and immigration right. advocacy. I came from the UN. It just made so much sense to me that there would be a women's baking collective, an immigrants' women's baking collective. Is there something collective. about the baking that is significant? I mean, could, couldn't this be anything? The, thing, the significant thing about baking is that women do it. In most parts of okay, the world, okay. women are the bakers. Right. You know, somehow in the European tradition, we picture a French man with a chapeau right. doing the baking. But in most places, it's the women making the tortillas, the chapatis, the whatever bread it is that's right. consumed in the home. And New Yorkers love this. Yes. Everyone in America is going crazy for these breads. So there's a market and there's a demand for the, the jobs we're producing. Where does producing. this all get sold? And if you're putting food in front of me, it's going to get eaten. Oh, great. Well, what you're trying now is our Moroccan M. Semen. Uh -huh. This bread you can buy in Union Square Farmer's Market and a bunch of other farmer's markets around the city. This is an Armenian-style lavash cracker. We mm -hmm. make it in six flavors. Um, it's available at Dean & DeLuca's, Eli's, um, other stores. Mainly right now we're, we're selling in New York City. And this is a very unique product. It's a handmade corn tortilla. Oh. Um, we hand grind the corn, non-GMO, um, organic blue GMO, corn. Genetically modified. Yes, genetically modified organism. Mm -hmm. um, people don't want it in their corn, and so we are one of the only makers on the market that's selling this particular type are you of corn. Money? We are making money, and all of the money is going back into the training of the women. So and what do you, all what are you the training women, them for? we're training them for management track positions mm -hmm. in the culinary industry. So the hope is, women come to us; they have this passion for food. Food. When they're done with us, they're able to get better jobs in the culinary industry. A lot of immigrant women in this city and in this country end up in low-paying jobs mm -hmm. where there's no professional trajectory. So they might be domestic workers or doing home health care. You know, it's, they're, yeah. they're good jobs, but you start at about, you know, 15 to 20,000 and you'd sort of stay there. If you get into management track positions in union bake shops, in some of the big industrial places, you have the potential of earning $60,000 a year how and we, getting benefits. How do we replicate this? How does this idea become bigger? Does it become bigger with you or do others? I mean, this is the, this is the microfinance of, of what you're doing. It's a, it's a start small um, and, and have, help individuals. Uh, become better breadwinners, no pun intended. Exactly. Yeah. This is a scalable model, and yeah. Hot Bread Kitchen is going to expand to five cities in five years. We're thinking big. We're thinking about taking this nationally. Right now, more migrants coming to this country are women than men, mm -hmm. and that's the same thing in every developed country. That's the same thing in Canada. That's the same thing in Europe. There's nothing about this model that doesn't work elsewhere. There's a demand for these products, and there's women who need these better jobs. How do you recruit them? Um, through a network of community-based organizations. So there's a lot of great organizations that are already serving these women. We ask those organizations to identify entrepreneurial women who are passionate about yep. food, who want to get better jobs. And we get, right now, unfortunately, more applicants than we can place.
When you stop talking, I gotta stop eating, so. So, the, um, the exciting news is, is that we're moving to a new facility. We just got a big grant from New York City to move to East Harlem. Very nice. Um, so we're taking our, our entire operation, our classrooms, our baking facilities. We're moving uptown to a 4,600 square foot facility. Okay. I, I mean, I have been hearing from people since it was announced that you were going to be on the show. You've got a lot of fans. People really admire the model. I love the way it melds uh, the, the, the work that you want to do on a social level with, uh, with business. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a great answer. So congratulations. Thank you. Uh, we'll keep on doing it. Uh, we're going to keep on eating this food. Jessamine Waldman is the founder and executive director of Hot Bread Kitchen. And the, Hot Bread is the brand. So that's, uh, that's what you'll find if you want to support the training of immigrant women who can uh, earn a living wage and be in management track positions. If you want more information about Jessamine Waldman and her company, Hot Bread Kitchen, you can go to my website, cnn.com slash alley, and we'll have it there. You know, I don't know, for all my, my friendship with Ed, I don't know whether he knows how to cook anything or not. He's standing by at the White House. We're going to take a break. I'm going to ask him when he knows how to cook or whether he can bake when I come back.